are going to make this lovely collage called Let's Not Go Home. It reminds me of my friends when we go to the beach on a summer's evening and we don't actually want to go home and cook dinner. We don't want to do anything except to stay at the beach and look out at the sea. So to begin with, you need to familiarize yourself with what's in your pack. You'll find you've got a photograph or a colored print of the of the image. You'll also have some patterns like this and then all the individual pieces that you can cut out once you've made your colored papers. Um, we're going to start with making the first coloured paper which uh, we will use to make the sky and then we'll use some of it also to make the sea. In your set of paints you've got all the different colours that you're going to need for this and if we just have a look at those particular colours you'll see that there you don't actually have to mix many colours to make this particular collage. In your pack, you'll find your paints are all named for you. So if you just use those names that are written down and you shouldn't have any trouble deciding which color is which. For the sea and the sky, we're actually going to use blue and we need a large quantity of blue. We need an extra large quantity of white. We need some of the blue green and some of the turquoise. Dip your sponge into your water. Hopefully you've got a water container of some sort. I just use an old ice cream container. Squeeze the sponge out and then just dip your sponge into the blue paint and drag it along on the top of one of your pieces of cartridge. This is going to be our sky. If you can't get it nice and even don't worry you can come back and do it a little bit later on once it's dry you, you can actually paint over the top we will also be mixing up some of the white with the blue paint and you can just take a dab of that onto your sponge and a little bit of the blue and mix it like so and then what we'll do is we'll drag that color across underneath the darker blue so like this and then last but not least, we're gonna mix an even lighter color. If you notice in any paintings where you see a landscape, you'll see that the sky is darker at the top and much, much lighter, almost down to white where it meets the horizon, whether that be the sea or hills. So just rinse out your little sponge. And this time we're just going to take a really small bit of blue and quite a large bit of the white, mix it up till we get a much lighter blue and drag that across. I'm just going to continue on this way and I'll be putting some stipples on top of the blue using the bubble wrap and also the corrugated card. Eventually we'll end up with a paper that's completely covered. So I'll do that now and then I'll explain what I actually did. Okay, we're back again. I've added the bubble wrap here, just um, painting the bubble wrap with the blue paint, just pressing it down. And with the sponge, I'm just stippling. We call this stippling, where you just blend a little bit of the, the white into the color underneath. You can see there's a large part of white, but that's fine. We want a little bit of that anyway. So here we go. I think we've just about got enough. Um, to be going on with for our sky. All right, the next piece we'll do will be for the sea. So just put that to one side and let it dry and grab another piece. And for the sea, we're going to use that lovely blue green and a little bit of the turquoise. So mix up a color in between the turquoise and the blue green. So you've got sort of three colors to play with. So just a dab of this and a dab of that. Mix it round and Again, we'll use our sponge to apply this. So we'll put that into the middle. Isn't that a gorgeous color? My goodness, it's lovely. And then we're going to add the darker green at the top. We want some different, uh, some variation between the sea and the sky. So we don't want the sea necessarily to be blue. We want it to be sort of like a blue green. So just drag it across until you've got a nice even coating. And if you're not happy with it, just come back and apply more paint once it's dry. We'll also use uh, the, the bubble wrap again and the corrugated card. And I might even use a scrum, scrunched up piece of paper towel, which can add a lovely texture. And I'll just be dipping the paint, sorry, dipping the towel into various colors on my palette and um, creating some nice textures that I can use for the sea.
This is another texture we can add by dipping in our piece of cardboard and just dragging it across the page. It makes a, um, a very distinct line, but it's, it's really lovely. It's, a, it's different from the sponge, so don't be afraid just to play. That's what this pack's all about, having fun and trying out different things with the equipment that's there. Again, you could use the, um, the cotton bud, just dip it in. And make some swirls. We're going to be ripping these papers up anyway and just using them where we think they look best. This is the finished piece and I'm very happy with it. I've added some extra blue at the bottom just in case I don't have enough for the sky. I've added some of this white with the scrunched up paper just to sort of look like, a little bit like waves. The next papers we'll make are the ones that we'll use for the sand and also for the area uh, where the sand meets the sea. We're going to use the corrugated card, paint it with a little bit of light brown for this area. Here we've got um, bubble wrap, which has got some of the light brown and yellow ochre applied to it and stamped on. The background colours here are predominantly lemon yellow, yellow ochre and white. So on my tray, I've got the colours that I'm going to need. I've got a little bit of the yellow in there, don't worry about that. So this is lemon yellow, I need quite a lot, quite a lot of white. This is yellow ochre. This is light brown and we've got a touch of the blue green for that area where the sea um, laps over the shore. Okay, here's the finished paper. Uh, there's enough here to be going on with um, to make all those different areas of the sand. As mentioned before, we've got the bubble wrap texture. We've got the corrugated card. I've used uh, the sponge just dipped in a little bit of white here to create a lighter area. I've used the crumpled up paper to create this effect here and um, yeah you can just have fun as long as you've got some different textures to play with you'll be absolutely fine to make this collage. We're going to make the papers to create these lovely bathing suits now and this is really fun. Um, this bathing suit here is made by painting a piece of foam like this and then stamping it onto your white paper. This pair of um, bathing togs here is made by just using a sponge to put down a, an orange background and then we've got the doily which we put on top and using your piece of foam or that, um, sorry, that sponge that's used for all sorts of things, you just dip it into the white paint and away you go on top of the orange and here we've cut off a little piece of the blue um, foam and we are going to dip it into the colors that we like this one is just lemon yellow mixed with a little bit of blue green and I've got variations of um, of the green there and then I've just stamped it on top of the page so um, I'll make those for you now so you can see. I'll just start with painting the foam just so you can see how to do it. So just create your design. Does I'm just going to use some spirals here and I'm just dipping the, the cotton bud into the blue paint and then I'm going to add a few touches of yellow here and there and a little bit of the turquoise. So just put that into the background. I want to cover the whole thing otherwise you can't see the design very well okay there it is and then just turn that over and stamp it onto your cartridge paper and you should end up with a really cool design so there it is there and just repeat so you've got enough to make the blue bathing suit this one is just a an orange background put down with a piece of sponge so just drag the orange over the page like this, let it dry a little bit and then use your doily and stipple white paint on top. This pair of togs here, mix up a little bit of the yellow with some of the blue green so I've got some variations in colour and here we are and then just stamp these on like so and you'll get really nice textures by doing that and it doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine you just make it how you like it it's a little bit dark so I may not use that piece so have fun and create some nice textures for the togs 
Here I've got my most of my colours laid down. I'm just still got to put the stipple effect onto the orange. Just to show you how to make these hats, you'll see on the hat there is some variations in colour between the rim of the hat and the inside of the hat. So to get that sort of look, all you've got to do is mix up some of the base colour. So in this case, I've used blue-green. So I'm going to mix a little bit of blue-green with some white to get a lighter variation of that colour. I'll add a touch of yellow to that one because I think it just looks a little bit smarter. Okay, so there it is. And now I'm just going to run over a um, hat in a circular motion using my paintbrush. Now, it doesn't look particularly different, but if you keep working like that until it gets a little bit lighter and you don't want it perfect, that's the idea. It should be subtle. Okay, so there we are. That looks pretty good. I can also touch these up once I've cut them out if I think they need a little bit more work. For the orange, same thing, just add white to the orange so you get a lighter colour. And remember when you're mixing colours to make sure your brushes are nice and clean, otherwise you'll end up making a brown coloured paint which is not what we need. Just mix some of that white with some of the orange. Got a nice light colour now and I'm just going to work around on the inside like this. You'll see how that lighter um, colour actually makes the hat look better. And again, with the blue, do the same thing. This is the last piece of paper that you'll make. You need to make yourself a bit of skin colour. To do that, mix up some brown, that's the dark brown, mixed with the white. For this colour, I've used about two-thirds white, one-third dark brown. But you can make the skin colour as dark as you want. And then to make the stripey bits for the towel, you're going to use your little bit of foam that you cut off, this little piece here, and just paint it with the blue paint and stamp it on or I made a bit of a mess of that one but that doesn't matter this one here is made with the red paint this is made with the blue green paint and then you'll have enough to be going on with to make all the bits for your made by me let's not go home collage to start putting this collage together, if you get hold of your pattern and have a look at the pieces, I'm going to start with number one, move on to two and three and carry on down the page. If you cut out your number one pattern piece like so, just roughly, it doesn't have to be nice and neat, and then lay it on top of your blue paper like this, and then all you'd have to do is try, if you can, and rip a line that's very similar. In fact, you might find it just easy just to do it like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like the pattern piece, just approximately. So there's our first piece, and we can glue that on when we're happy with it. Do the same for number two and number three until you've got a sky that looks similar to the pattern. Moved on ahead and I've put the sky pieces into place. The important thing is that the darker pieces go at the top and the lighter almost white pieces go at the horizon line. You can see there's a wee gap here that's because when I've put the C piece on which is a very straight edge you can use the top edge of your piece of painted paper or you can cut that with a pair of scissors. There's a wee gap. The piece of paper wasn't quite long enough, but it doesn't matter because the ladies are actually going to sit over the top of this. So I've just positioned it accordingly. And then I've ripped some lighter green pieces for the C. You can tell from the pattern, so the top third is the sky, the next piece is the C, and then you've got the sand, which is on the bottom half of your page. Just to get the colors right for your sand, just just have a wee look at your pattern here. You can use the stripy bits that you created with your corrugated card and the bubble wrap pieces and the same sorts of positions as in the demonstration artwork that you've got. Or you can just put them where you think they look best. So eventually I'll have this covered with coloured paper. Some of it will be ripped, some of it can be cut. Don't be afraid if you really want to use the pattern pieces to cut round them um, with a pair of scissors 
and get the shapes you want. The important thing is that you use lots of glue so that it sticks down really well. And if you've got any lumps and bumps like I had in the sky here, just use your finger or a, a white piece of paper with your finger on top and just smooth it over until you get it nice and flat. But once it's up on the wall, you're not really going to see those little creases. Um, so don't be too concerned about them. Here's the finished background. Half of it is covered with yellow papers for the sand. Up closer to the water's edge, we've got sort of uh, bluey green on top of yellow papers. Light aqua, darker green, that's the blue green, and light sky and dark sky up the top. Yours may look like this or it may look different. It doesn't really matter as long as you've got the main areas covered with colored paper. The next thing you do is cut out with scissors your pattern number 18 and that's the bodies of the ladies and you're going to cut that out and then lay it on top of the skin colored piece of paper cut round then do the same with the bathing suits so there's number 19 I'm going to cut round that then I'll glue the bathing suits onto the bodies before I, I put the whole thing onto this piece here so I'll do that now if you're not comfortable cutting out around a piece that's this small, feel free to turn the page over and then turn the pattern over and draw around it with a pencil like this and then cut around the pencil line. That might be a little bit easier if you're having trouble with your scissors. If you find that you are still having trouble, use really small scissors and you'll find that will be easier. Here's the finished piece. I've cut out the bathing suits and glued them onto the flesh colored background. I've also cut out the pattern pieces for the hats. I've cut round this green one and, and decided I just wanted to add a little bit more uh, white mixed with the blue, green and lemon yellow paint to give it more of a rim. It is going to have a piece that's glued down in the middle. Don't glue these pieces down yet. You've got to cut out your towels next. Find this piece and also pattern pieces number 22, 23 and 24. You're going to cut round your um, patterns, lay them on your towels, cut round and they're going to go underneath the bottoms. So they go on first and then these pieces and then the hats. I hope you're enjoying this process. It's very much like cutting out any sort of pattern piece. You've got to just you know, go carefully, go quietly until you get the shape that you want. I haven't glued anything down. I've just cut out my towels. Uh, if you've got areas that you're not happy with, you can always go over them with a little bit of paint. Just get them the way you want before you glue them down. I'm going to pop the towels about there, I think. Just position the bottoms on top of the towels and then make sure that the hats are, are covering the um, top of the horizon and the shoulders like so. I've also cut out these little pieces that are the tops of the hats which are the same as the patterns that we've used for the bathing suits and I've cut out the little pieces which represent uh, the ribbons on the hats. When you've got all those bits cut out start by gluing the towels down first then the bathing suits with the bodies and then you will put the hats the tops of the hats and finally the little pieces that uh, represent the ribbons. All right, we've got everything glued down and the last thing you need to do is trim off the edges. So just turn your um, canvas around and just trim off these edges along here so that it's nice and neat. You can, of course, paint the outside edge with black or blue or a color that you think goes with the um, collage itself, or you can just leave it white, it doesn't matter. And then to put in the little details of the arms and the legs, just grab your pencil. You can use a, a black pen for this, but if you use pencil and you make a mistake, you can always rub it out. And then just follow down like so, and don't be too concerned. We're just trying to create what an arm might look like. So this middle woman has her arms on the outside like this. And then the, the right hand lady, you can see she's got her legs up a little bit. So just put a little line like this to show that and another mark like that and finally on this lady here we just put a little um a little mark like this to show that that's where her arm is and this is her leg and last is a tiny little mark like this and you have got your finished collage of let's not go home i hope you've had a lot of fun doing it and remember if it's not exactly like mine it doesn't matter it makes it yours and that's why it's called made by me 
So if you are interested in learning more about Made By Me kits, you can go onto the Facebook page and you'll see that there are a number of other projects that you can do there. In the meantime, have fun, enjoy your paints and use any leftover papers to create cards or any other artwork that you think might look awesome. Bye for now. Thank you.